Today on the channel, we talk the highs and the lows of turtle anxiety with the brand new Toka and Rezar Ninja Turtle set. The spirit of the Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another NECA Ninja Turtle unboxing and review of the cartoon variety here today on the channel. And today, we've got Toka, we've got Rezar, the Target exclusives. And these two talk about turtle anxiety. Pick up the t-shirt on ProWrestlingTees.com. Turtle anxiety has been a roller coaster. COVID times, before COVID times, absolutely anxiety at the height. Then it's dropped a lot. We saw a lot of kind of CD level characters dropping our anxiety down. But then Toka and Rizar bringing it back up to the ceiling, bringing it crazy to us in the anxiety levels as this went up for pre-order uh, March, April. I don't know. What is time anymore? February? Uh, when was that first haul thon from Target in 2022? Uh, of course, we're now in the fall version of this, and that's where this is finally hitting the store pegs. But it went up for pre-order on a site affiliated with Target, and it went really quick. Nobody else had a chance at it. We hadn't seen it in stores. Nobody knew what the heck was going on with this pack. I had a feeling in my gut that, hey, it's got to come out. It can't just be one and done like that. There's no way they made that few of these. Luckily, it came true. It's just been almost a year later, it feels like. So, very happy to have Toka and Razar here finally. And for you guys with the old turtle anxiety still on this pack, from my travels, and I've been traveling three states this very week, seeing these guys on the pegs, seems to be they are shipping in four to most stores. So, I do think you'll be able to get these. Of course, Target's uh, online sale. They've had these online as well uh, as of Friday. So, you guys might be able to pick these up. Fairly easier than some of the other ones. And I don't envision this pack to be as worth as much as the former Toka and Rizar, which we'll compare these two from the movie line in the past. So without further ado, let's get down to the review, and we're going to do this like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it, we're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's take a look. Old Toka and Rizar with a million accessories in the package here. Of course, they aren't as popular in their cartoon variety as they were the movie variety. I think most know that. A lot of people, myself included, don't even remember these guys in the cartoon. Apparently, they were in about one episode, kind of as a background character. Uh, somebody even said maybe they were good guys in the cartoon, or at least somewhere in the middle of the road. Uh, who knows? And I guess they're good guys in the movie, kind of. They're just confused, really, at the end of the day. They're calling Shredder Mama. They don't know what's going on left or right. But very traditional turtle packaging here, looking really good. Uh, of course, there it is on the one side. On the other side, Ninja Turtles. Nothing fun down here. And then awfully generic on the back. Nothing going on. You do cross-sell the Nitritos, Super Bebop, Rocksteady, Mighty Rocksteady, and of course, one of my all-time favorites, the old Pizza Monster. So without further ado, let me get these guys out of the package. I'll get all the twist ties, all that kind of stuff, and uh, we'll be off to the races to unbox these. I guess i give you the old plastic prism treatment first. There it is. There they are in the plastic prism. And I'm going to get these eyes all uncorked, all out of the package, and we'll be back talking all things Toka and Razar. All right, we got our friends Toka and Rizar out of the package. Let's start off with the accessories, breaking this guy down, or these guys down, I should say. Uh, and some of our accessories here are interesting. It's all food-related for the most part, as we do get this nice teal fish. I love the little X on the eyes on this fish, uh, kind of symbolizing that they're dead. A very old cartoon trick, probably all the way back to the Popeye cartoons back in the day. Uh, you got the X on the eyes. Uh, so it is a fish they're going to eat, of course. These guys very driven by food, being animals, creatures, whatever we want to call them. Uh, and then we do get some meat on a bone. Very classic meat. Uh, is this, you know, a, a drumstick? Is this a leg of something? Uh, what is this? Who knows? Once again, very stylized cartoon. Not just Ninja Turtles, but cartoons in general. Uh, accessories of food on bones. Uh, it's very stylized over many, many years. And I remember as a little kid, very, very strange. Strange the memories you get, but this stuff always brings me back to cartoons through the years. And I always said, man, I could, I would really want to eat one of these. These look really good. Makes me want to go to KFC. Uh, go grab my sport get some coleslaw some mashed potatoes uh get a breast and a wing that's what i always go for the old breast and a wing 
just makes me hungry for a little KFC. Maybe I'll hit him up for lunch today. Who knows? Uh, but we do get those two with the fish. And then we get like a Thanksgiving dinner here. A Thanksgiving meal it almost looks like. Or a charcuterie board is what it looks like there. But it looks like a big turkey. Uh, once again, this is another one of those accessories. Both of these really... You could maybe move into some other uh, action figure uh, lanes if you want to for fig photography. Uh, but however, they are very cartoon stylized. So you'd have to, couldn't really stick this in the MCU, I don't think. Maybe you could dress it up a little bit, you could. But nice attention to detail across the board on these. Uh, very good. You could put this as an accessory in the turtles, maybe the sewer layer on a table. They're having Thanksgiving with the turtles. You could do that maybe, who knows. But we do have that. And then we do get one thing non-food related as far as accessories go. A little computer here. And I have to think this maybe relates to Baxter Stockman helping these guys transform into what they are. Uh, but you guys can tell me in the comments. But it is nice. It is very uh, animated, computer-ish that we get from the Turtles line a lot of times over the last few years. So we get that. Now we got to break it down. And we're going to start with Toka the Turtle because one of the rules I heard was Turtles first. Yeah, Turtles first. I heard that. And of course he does come with two gripping hands. And then we get two kind of splayed out hands. Uh, choking hands, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so we do get a little hands difference. Choose your own hand adventure, as we like to say. Very good, nice yellowish skin with kind of a mustard-colored nails. A little bit creepy, actually, looking there. But hands, we've seen them before. We'll see them again. We'll see them again over here with Rizar. Uh, but old Toka here looking very mean, looking very mad, looking very angry, of course. Uh, he looks very uh, devilish here. I wonder... Oh yeah, it does. I was wondering if the mouth opened on this one. So I'm happy to report the mouth does open. It does have a hinge on it. Beautiful red tongue against that yellow and everything. It really does pop, so it looks really good. The demented red eyes. I mean, this guy looks like he just walked out of the satanic panic of the 80s. He looks like a devil uh, turtle is what he looks like. Or uh, what, what would he be technically called? Uh, not a turtle. A snapping turtle, how about? Hey, there you go. A uh, snapping turtle. But man, he does look scary. He does look mean. He looks very mean. I like how that looks, of course. Got a big hard shell. Got the spikes going throughout the shell there. Uh, nice use of different colors. Kind of a weird color look with the yellow and the mustard and the browns, but it does all work together uh, for the total aesthetics of the thing. Very cool belt around the side with all the throwing stars, the pockets, things like that, holding onto the shell and everything. Got the foot logo right there in the middle of the belt. Looking good. He's got the spikes on his knee pads, and then he's got bandanas all over his arms like a true ninja would, like a true ninja would. Of course, articulation. The arms do go all the way around. Oh, very, very tight joints on this guy. You are limited by the shell, so you're not going to get full-on twist around. You do get back and forth. You do get a tight, tight bicep cut. Uh, you do get double-jointed elbows. You do get hands removable, as we talked about. Head all over the place. Hinge at the neck, or hinge at the mouth, not the neck. Uh, no side-to-side -side on him because he is limited by his shell. We do get single-jointed knees, and then you get the ankles back and forth. So a good-looking one. Toka here. Uh, very interesting-looking one. And a deep, deep cut for the cartoon line, but not a deep cut for the movie lines, which is always interesting as well. But he does stand very well on his own. We'll see if he fits on a ringside collectible stand. Use discount code KYLE. Pick up a stand over at ringside collectibles. Make sure you get the WWE stand, like I always say. And man, he fits on a stand. So if you really do need a stand, a little extra security, there you go. Ringside has you covered right there. So that does look really good. Uh, old Toka coming in hot. A good looking figure. Once again, a deep cut, but looks really good. Now we turn our attention over to Rezar, uh, the bipedal werewolf, hairy bipedal creature. Sign Kyle up. He's my favorite of the two for sure. And you get very wolf-like hands. Got a little fur going on on the bottom, sculpted in. Uh, the white long nails against the brown skin. Looks like something straight out of a werewolf. And speaking of werewolves, you ever watched that Fox show back in like the mid-80s? I think it was one of the first Fox shows ever. It was like werewolf or something like that or wolf. Man, that was an awesome show. For a little five-year-old Kyle, he was eating that show up all day long. That's probably where I started my love for uh, werewolves and stuff like that. And the hairy bipedal creatures and all that kind of stuff. Loved it. Check out that show if you've never seen it. Check it out a clip on YouTube. Uh, very cool stuff for Fox back in the day. Anyways, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Rizar here. Uh, looking good. Once again, very cartoon stylized. Not as much nightmare inducing as the movie figures. And like I said, we'll compare those movie figures here in a little bit. Once again, we do got the hinged jaw on this one. Not as much movement as we got with Toka, as you're limited by his goatee, for a lack of better words, hitting against his vest plate. But we get a little bit there. And a little bit is a good enough for me on this one, I guess. I would have liked a little deeper cut, but at least we get a little bit of something there. So that looks good. Of course, the head moves side to side. All the articulation we got with Toka, we get over here with Rezar. 
But man, he, he looks good. He's a hairy bipedal creature. He's got some lime green trunks on, which is interesting. It's uh, very lime, and then you get neon lime on the back half, which is interesting. And then he's got very junkyard-esque armor. It's like kind of looks like he grabs stuff out of the junkyard. He uses forearm guards and thigh guards and knee pads, things like that. Uh, scary eyes, once again, not as uh, devil nightmare-inducing as Toka, but he's got some scary eyes going on, Rizar. He's got his nice mohawk up there, the different colors of brown in the hair. Blue tattered shirt going on for extra effect. Looks really good. And then he does have just uh, gripping hands here. I'm probably going to give him these crazy werewolf-like hands uh, to give him a little bit more of a venture. And then he does have the chains, much like... No, Toka didn't have those. I was thinking he did. But he's got chains here in white that are kind of where he's broken free, I guess you would say, like a werewolf would almost. Uh, but, man, he looks good as well. I like this guy. I like this pack about as much as I thought I would. I knew I would like it. I didn't think it would be the crown jewel of the animated series packaging and figures, but man, it still does look really good. It does hold up. It is worth a pickup, I would say, especially if you're building out that whole entire Turtle universe. I hear from a lot of viewers, I hear from a lot of people that they dove out once we started getting some more C and D level characters. I understand that, especially in these times, but man, I'm all into the cartoon line. Give me everybody. One of these days, I'll show you my cartoon display. It's kind of a world building type thing. Uh, it definitely looks good. I do enjoy it, and I like uh, I like the universe building we get with this. Once again, you throw them on a ringside stand. Fits like a glove. So if you need some extra security, go to ringside. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Uh, if you need some stands, make sure you do get the WWE stands for that one. But there's old Rizar. Pretty good. I don't know. I, I'm going to consider it basically a tie. Maybe hairy bipedal creature for the win just barely. Uh, he's a little bit bigger. This guy's a little bit wider over here on Toka. But does look really good. I did grab a Ninja Turtle. I grabbed Mikey. And Mikey's shocked just to be here with these two guys. So you can see how they compare with the rest of the line. The Turtles kind of as a judge for size. These guys are a little bit more deluxe than some of the ones we've gotten. Right in the right in the pocketbook of some of the other ones. Like the Bebop and Rock Steadies of the world. But looks good with... Uh, Mikey there, and then of course we got to do some serious comparisons to the movie line. Now there's no beating these movie figures. These guys are truly, I say it all the time, but these are truly next level figures of Toka and Razar. Big, beefy, meaty, uh, master class in big figures right here. Uh, these two really do blow away this one. I like these two, but these two blow them away. Uh, it's just kind of sad how limited these guys were that the general population couldn't see this because a lot of people would stumble over these in Walmart, maybe not even a turtle collector, just say, man, these are some cool figures, got to pick these up. Very happy to have these in my collection. Heck, I'm happy to have these guys in my collection too. Uh, but quite the rogues gallery here. Cool versions of Toka and Rezar. I'd be curious if any of you guys out there like this version more than this version. And if so, tell me why. There's got to be somebody out there. We'll see. Uh, but a very, very good set. What say you guys in the comments down below? Or you agree with me? These two are the superior ones, but these are pretty cool. Let me know in the comments. Of course, don't forget to like this video. You made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. You don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to follow along on the old Patreon. Link in the description below. Uh, you get early access to videos like this. Bonus content. Exclusive content. Be eligible for monthly giveaways and a lot of other cool stuff over on the Patreon. And best of all, you support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Get your very own Turtle Anxiety t-shirt, of course over there at Pro Wrestling Tees. And then don't forget about Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Toka and Rezar, I'm Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.